So, game one. Looks like we're going to Smashville. A little fist bump there between uh, between buddies. And Tuan wants this run back. Adam wants to get back to... Wants to get back to the Knicks. Or the... Um, not the, uh, not the groovy. Knicks, uh, groovy, yes. Groovy. Yeah. All right. This is, we're going to see very, very patient play from these two players right now. Um, even though I mentioned earlier that Adam is definitely a more aggressive Sonic, when it comes to these two playing, it, it's like a game of chess. It is. Right? They're both intelligent fellas. Neither one of them get, want to get in disadvantage at the start of the match here. Yeah. Because they know whoever has the lead is really winning in this set. Oh, grabs him out of the spin dash. Tries to go for the early stage spike there, but a little bit late on the, pulling the trigger. Oh, and uh, duffs him out of the spin dash with him there. <laughs> Twan whipping these uh, uh, forward airs. All right, nice. spin dash into fair, putting on some good damage. It's caught by another spin dash into up air. Re calls it the air dodge with a down air. Nice air dodge. Kind of slowed down his momentum a little bit there. It allowed him to avoid the up smash. Yep. Ooh. He did get the air dodge, though. He did get the air dodge, and he got the Smashville balloon. So, you know, yeah. doesn't count on the on, on the end screen, but it counts in our hearts. <laughs> Oh, good air dodge coming in from Tuan, avoiding the forward air and then avoiding the spring as he comes back. Back air out of shield, putting Adam off stage. Expected a high recovery going for the fair, but does not connect. Adam goes low. Adam dashing up onto the platform now. Ooh, lands right on top of him. Going to get up air twice for his troubles. Yeah, this is up smash percent. <laughs> Got to be careful. That spin dash in air, putting on some really good damage, putting Tuan far off stage. He needs to be careful how he's landing, but he was able to get down. I, I know Sonic is going to want to do an up air or back throw at this point. Yeah. Gotta be careful. You don't want to get grabbed right now either. So that up throw it up, up throw it and up air is serious business from Sonic. Ooh, double roll gets punished with a spin dash. All right, there's the grab. Forward throw. Not enough to kill yet. All right. Up throw? Yep. Yeah, and that will take it. All right. Lots of rage on Sonic. He's at 100%, so he needs to be careful because one up smash from Tuan is probably going to take the stock here. So yeah, he needs to be very careful. But he's using the uh, the platform to his advantage, using it as an alternate place to land, avoiding up, avoiding uh, Tuan who's sticking to the ground here. Ooh, good air dodge coming in from Adam, but gets caught on the getup with the up smash. Tuan evening out the game, only a four percent differential between the two. Yeah, good, good on Tuan. Not letting this game get too far out of hand now. This is a dead even, dead even tilt. I'm telling you, these two guys. It's like chess. They're, they're equally managed. Charles Xavier and uh, Magneto. And look, we've lost one stock. We've used exactly half of our time. Yep. It's Ooh. going exactly as planned. All right, springs out of the potential up tilts. So I'm trying to chase him down. Can't get the grab in, though. All right, nice cross up, empty hop into grab. Springs out of it, but he does catch him with another up air on the landing. All right, calls out the jump from ledge with a back air. She connects a little bit of a spring there. All right, there's a the falling down air. Catches him again with the back air. Adam able to snap back to ledge. Now, oh, oh sour spot though. Yeah. Push him further away. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit greedy. Yeah. A little bit televised. Yeah, nice drop down fair. Ooh, be careful on your landing. Oh, Twan's starting to look for a grab now. Tries to go for the nair. Gets Calls it the, the air dodge, dodge, but gets the downward hit. Not the upwards one he might have been looking for. All right, goes for the fair again. Now, Twan needs to keep this little bit of a percent lead that he has. Yeah. Cause. This is what this is when the the clock starts to get a little bit more relevant. 126 remaining. 
Oh my goodness. Both players just missing what they're going for. Gets the grab. Okay, springs out of whatever Twalm is going to do. Probably a forward air. There's the de rising down air. Adam's in the air. Spin dash into up air, but no, does not connect the second up air. Twan back on ledge. One minute remaining between these two players. Only 20 oh, seconds. There's throw. the back throw. Will that take it? Yeet. All right. There it goes. Twan taking game one over Adam. The birthday boy, F1-0. Dark birthday boy. Dark birthday boy. Look at his serious face. He's he's in it. My name is He's Quan. in it to win it. This is my serious face. <laughs> 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 All right, going to town and city now. Definitely giving uh, Adam a little bit more space to kind of run around. Yeah, but uh, up smash will kill early. Uh, so a uh, good, good pick by Tuan. More body. Right. I like the adaptation coming from Tuan. Uh, instead of Adam's been springing out anything, so he opened up with a forward throw into dash attack. Something totally unconventional. Adam wasn't expecting. Able to get the damage. Not a lot of damage, mind you, but some. <laughs> Oh, nice grab. Gets the back air into the up air. Wow, that's, that's good damage. Only got one hit in the up air, though. And he did the down air at the perfect height not to get the landing lag. And yeah, he's evened up this game. Twan dropping the shield a little bit early on these uh, uh, springs a little bit. Ooh, doesn't quite catch the recovery with the forward smash. All right, tries to land with a nair, uh, but Adam calls it out. Put him off stage. There's the back air. Doesn't get the grab, but gets the follow-up jab afterwards. Scamble just going to wait on the platform, allow that to help him recover. Four tilts coming out from Sonic. All right. That's definitely a different option coming through. Oh, really, really clutch air dodge coming in from Twan, but he does get clipped by that spin dash as he tries to up smash back throw, but that will take it. Yeah, that was right at the ledge. As, uh, not much Twan could do there. So a uh, little bit of a lead now for Adam. But Twan chasing him off stage. Land though. Oh, misses the up air. I'm just dashing away to safely, getting back down easily. Twan taking a lot of damage now. This uh, on the second stock. Yeah, he's losing a lot of trades right now. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, and he's going. He, he had the up smash coming out there, but uh, oh, there again, he just can't get it out in time. Yep. And now we're sitting at a, a full stock deficit between these two players. Okay, there's the up smash. That will take it. Twan sitting at 109%. All right, big comeback. Big comeback. All right, Adam, <laughs> content to just let him... Uh... To let Mario do whatever he wants, force him to approach. He's in no rush. All right, clips him with the up air. Twan able to drift away from a follow up, but that second up air will take it. JV2 stock coming in from Adam. And a very nice response from Adam in game two. Uh, the game one was close, but uh, that was a convincing win. Yeah, that was definitely a very convincing game two. But that's how that's kind of how these games go between these two players very often. Um, there are a lot of close games, and then there are a lot of complete washes. Yeah. They're, they're very evenly skilled as players. So Twan taking them to battlefields. Okay. Interesting. A little bit less room for Sonic to run around. Um, Twan able to kind of work with these platforms a little bit better. They definitely, the platforms definitely make, uh, give better advantage to Mario than they do to Sonic. Just spacing each other out in neutral here. No one wanted to be too committal. Drop shield a little early there. Gets clipped by the Nair. Ooh, forward, forward air into F tilt. Not bad. Interesting combo. Or combination, I guess. Trading Nairs. Oh, misses with, his, with the Sonic Nair. <laughs> 
all right. You know what the difference in between uh, Sonic's two different uh, spin dash moves are called? Um, I don't. I can't, I, there's spin dash and there's I forget the other one's name, but yeah. one is multi hit. Yes. Um, and and can be canceled early. One of them, it, the other one is single hit, kind of goes through them. But um, once you reach a certain point of charge, it can no longer be canceled, and you're yeah. kind of stuck with it. All right, spring it up high, force Antoine to chase him. All right. Oh, Ooh, calls out the air dodge with the back air. Really smart play coming in from Adam. Now Twan's forced to recover low. <laughs> All right, gets that falling near, but now he's back to ledge. All right, Adam trying to call out a roll on Sage with a pivot grab. Uh, Twan getting doing neutral get up safely. Twan can set to control center stage here, but uh, he, he's having a difficult time reacting to the spin dashes because he does have things to duff it out, like nair, jab, off smash. But he, he he's just always a little bit. Late. Yep. Oh. Oh, but that's not quite going to take it yet. Yeah, they're the big blast zones of the battlefield. Not helping him out. Whoa. Oh, but he waits out the neutral get up with the up smash. Yeah, the big blast zones of battlefield aren't going to matter for that one. Yeah, sends that hedgehog to the sky. Oh, and that back air calling out the, the tournament winner. Man, Sonic back air is strong. And it's such a long hitbox, and there's no sour spot on it. It's, yep. all, it's, all, it's all strong hit. <laughs> yep. All right, so quick 31 coming in off of one spin dash from Adam. Yeah, I'm going to eat an up air on his landing, but that's not too bad. <laughs> Scam will just zoom in around the stage here, making sure that he doesn't get clipped by Twan. All right, good shield coming in from Tuan. Gets a couple of up airs, but Scam will once again able to spring out of any follow-ups. All right, up air into back air. Good damage coming in from Adam. Oh, and he just chases him down and gets the grab, but he immediately springs. Can't even get an up tilt. All right. Ooh, that's a little bit scary. Don't want to get hit by the spring ride. Ooh, couple of missed grabs, but Adam does land one, get the back throw. Tries a two-frame with an F smash. Yeah, Slade and mistimes yeah, it. A little bit late. Back here on shield. Ooh, air dodges through, doesn't get hit with the second up air. All right, Twan trying to go for a two-frame on the ledge with the dash attack. Maris dash oh. attack is so janky. I know. That, that hitbox is just so low. There's very even percents coming through. Very even. Yeah, Twan actually with the slight, slight lead now. I wonder if he's going to try and force that into approach or... Or just get grabbed into a back throw. <laughs> Oh, spot dodges, but gets grabbed. Nice, catches the landing. Can't connect with the up, up air, though, after the spring. Oh, there's spin action in the air. Yeah, Twan needs to be careful with that down air neutral. A few times now he's used it and got hit and punished by spin dash. Yeah. Tries to go for a back air, but gets hit by spin dash once again. Oh, gets called out on that roll with an F-Smash going across the stage. And Adam taking the very important game three, which will, of course, give him counter pick advantage throughout the rest of the set, if nothing else. Absolutely. You can see he definitely breathing a sigh of relief right there. <laughs> See what Dark Twan can do to fake, to uh, to get back into this. Now it's gonna take him back to battlefield. Obviously, uh, felt good on this stage. Yeah, I don't disagree with this either. Um, the game was fairly even for the most part. Adam kind of just ran away towards the very the very end of that game. Well, it's so important for Twan not to lose the lead in the beginning. He needs to have the percent advantage. Yeah. He, he definitely wants to have Adam doing the majority of the approaching in this game. So he's gonna he's gonna need to be very careful in these early goings of the game. But he's uh, he's 
getting grabbed here. Oh, the air dodge is in there. All right, just sitting in shield and being patient, not trying to uh, get punished off of the any any attempt to approach the spin dash. Ooh, was hoping for a roll in, but trying to hit him with the back air. It's the landing hitbox of the uh, down air to do one percent. All right, good pivot grab. Once again, Adam's just able to spring out of these combos. Yeah, he's really, he's really getting very little off grabs, which is uh, makes it, things very difficult for, for Mario. Cause yeah. They're used to being able to grab them, get them to 50, 60 percent, and then you know, I was like, oh, okay, well, then now the game kind of starts. Yeah, exactly. But uh, he's, he's not getting that in this matchup. And it must be incredibly frustrating to have to deal with that every time. Like, your, your, your main combo tool is just rendered more or less useless. Up throw up air. Connects. But uh, Dark Twan able to get back down. Ooh, can't get the second up air in on Adam. Sends very close now. Yep, there's the up airs. Gets the up B. Good damage coming in. Oh, gets right. the air dodge again. He's been getting a lot of those. Yeah, he has, but he gets the downwards hitbox of the down air, not the upwards. Alright, Twan's starting to go for up smash. Yeah, it's a little early. It's not going to kill yet, but... Uh... Spin dash in the back air. Knocks him off stage. Going to try and two frame him. Twan wisely waits, but uh, gets covers a little bit high and gets four, uh, four tilted for his trouble. Yep. Oh, gets called out in the jump, and the back air will take stock once again. Yeah, so uh, Twan now uh, on his tournament stock. <laughs> Just outside the range. Yeah, Twan needs to stay calm here now. Yeah, he can't let the, let himself get too shaken. Because uh, Ad Adam is uh, trying to stay safe, just looking for Mario to do something unsafe so he can get an opening. Otherwise, he's just going to keep dashing and running away. <laughs> we'll try to read the roll and get the grab. All right, there's the, the up throw into spring up air. Yeah, Adam getting a lot of damage in right now. 89% on Twan now. So far, Dark Twab not looking uh, quite as crispy as uh, Birthday Boy. No, not Definitely not uh, showing up like he did game one right now. Adam looking to run away with this. Oh, All right, back there's throw another back throw. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit staled out now, though. Yeah. Uppies through the spring with that back air. Will that take it? Not quite yet. Not quite enough. He's not going to live another one, though. No. Nope. Needs to watch out. <laughs> Adam, Just juked out the up smash. Yeah, wisely landing on that platform <laughs> to avoid losing a stock. Well, I'm in a very difficult position, though. Down in stocks, down in percent. And having to chase down a very squirrely Adam. I mean, Adam, we're four minutes into this game. Adam's only taken 107%. Yeah, and that's the scary thing, too, is that even if Twan takes this stock, there's two minutes left in the clock. He needs to make big plays happen. And the timer's <laughs> not on his side. I thought Adam was going to go right into that, but he yeah. stopped just in time. Oh, he gets the spring Does against guard. The spring, but not the second. Oh, Twan having a very difficult time. He needs to run in and go ham at this point. Yeah, and that's exactly what Adam wants. I mean, that's Adam's game plan is to wait you out and punish you. Oh, There's the back throw, and that'll do it. That's yes, it. it will. Yeah. Swan out of third place as Adam moves 